Hello everyone, it's me Ivan. So today uh, we're gonna just con gonna continue to do the EV3 group bot. So for, we just need so like we already finished 162 blocks. So now we're gonna do the other 100. First, uh, we need a, uh, let's we need to pick some blocks out. So I think we should do the check if robot fell down first. So we. First, we just go to control and grab it if, if, abs of output power is less than 100. So, then set full check, full check start time to timer. Then another one is check if. My timer minus fall check start time is greater than one. Fall check start time. Then we set OK to no. So uh, we quickly finished the first block, and now uh, we're gonna just gonna pick another one. Yeah, I think yeah, four more custom blocks. Yeah, I think it's about that. So I think we're gonna do the drive motors next. So it's gonna just drive the motors. <coughs> so first, we're gonna set set left output power, which is a new variable I said in last class. And also another one called right out put power. And we're gonna set left output power and then set right output power. Left I yeah, we're gonna set left to output power minus Output power minus 0 0.1 times steering. And then set right output power to output, pow output power plus 0 0.1 plus steering. And then uh, we're just gonna go to motors, and then we're gonna do D motor start motor at left output power power, and then A motor start as right output power power. So this is dry motor complete. So now there's three more. So Mm, like these three, it's all calculating the like the robots view things. So maybe we should start with calculate real angle and speed. So because like this one is a pretty hard one. So yeah. So I think we should get it first done. First, we're gonna set a new variable left motor sensor value. And to make another one called right, right mo, right mo, right motor sensor value. First, we're gonna set the left one to d degree d motor degrees counted, and set the right one to a. 
degrees counted. So after we got this done, we need to make another variable pre called previous motor sum. And then set previous previous motor sum to motor sum. So motor position sum. Yeah, we got that done. Let's see. And then set motor position sum. Two. Left motor sensor value plus right motor sensor value. Then we're going to make a new variable called change in motor position. Oh yeah, that's the old one. Wait. Actually, we don't need to make one. Now. I just forgot. Change in motor position. And then to we're gonna motor position sum minus previous motor previous motor sum. Motor position sum minus previous motor sum. And then now this is a change okay so just be aware of that change real angle by a minus here uh change in motor position minus drive speed times loop period sum I mean, yeah, control loop period, not loop period. Okay. And then minus. Set average with change. So that's another one average. Change in motor position. Average change. In motor, oh, uh, to average change in motor, like I forgot the position or whatever. P position to now it's, it's a long code, so it's it's first we need to divide. It's gonna divide it by four. This is like a. Uh, it's like with everything is like you like. Like basically, what's the like? It just adds all the mo change in motor position, and then divide by four because there's four of them, and then that's how like you get the average. Dashing, yeah, average of what each change in motor position is. So yeah, that's basically the how does it work. One, two. Okay, and then we're gonna just set real angular velocity set to another new variable. Real angular velocity. Two. A divide division. Average change in motor position. Divide by control loop period. Average change in motor position. Control loop period. And then we're gonna just set like motor position three to like one, two, three. Here, like we just put that these three blocks and then uh, for we're gonna set change in motor position three to motor position to change in motor position two. 
move position two to one and then one to two the regular like the no number change in motor position so we're done this so now we still have a few thing so we still have like i guess t yeah two how about we're gonna just do calculate loop period so i'm just gonna get it into some space and then first i'm gonna drag it if else and then control loop count to zero and then set control loop period to 0 0.014 Then we're gonna set control loop start time to timer. Well, uh, yeah, it's a new variable. Like I always forgot. Control loop start time like that, and then set it to timer. And then at the else set control loop period. Two, a uh, di divided by, and a minus, timer minus. Control loop start time. Divided by control loop count. And then, and after this if else, we're gonna put a change loop, change control loop count. By what? So. Good. So we're quickly finishing up this. So the last thing we're gonna just do is just calculate robot angle and speed. I'm just gonna pull it up where it's since it's easiest. And then in this, we're gonna put sensor value to the, the two, like in the sen sensors, like this two angular velocity, and then set offset or offset to a bit of math here like a plus addition addition and then times 0 0.0005 times sensor value plus so i'm just gonna duplicate that plus one minus uh zero point zero zero point zero zero five times offset then we're gonna set set robot robot with Robot body angular velocity two sensor value minus offset then change robot body angle change robot change robot body angle by Robot, bo robot body anchor velocity times control loop period. So now just just put it in here and now do we have any more custom blocks? We did. So, I'm just going to quickly check if we did every custom block. So. 
So, oh yeah, here. Like here, uh, we forgot our wheel angular velocity. So I'm just gonna quickly add that. wheel angular velocity and it's 0 0.08 times the wheel angular velocity and then we put this so wait you're still missing two blocks So, well, I think it's okay. So, so I think we're just going to end it for today. And I hope you enjoyed this, like, episode. And, like, I found a small thing. So, like, there's still one more block missing. But here we forgot to set wheel angle to zero. There might be a bit more somewhere. But if you find it, please, like, report it in the comments. Because I'm not, like, one of those coders like like goes through every block so i i just quickly saw that when i was like 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 checking all, all the things but i think there's like i like if you there's anything wrong just report it in the comments we're gonna see you next time in like any like whatever coding tutorial bye see you next time <laughs>